episode of Train Talks. I got news on where the Made Cla- Made Gun Classic returning, where it, will, where it will be taped, and what month is and what month it will be taped. Got news on that. E News has a source on and has an update on John Cena and Nikki Bella. We also have a rumor kill about WWE and All In, and um. We got some Rome. Okay, hold on. My uh, bad, messed up. I, I, and we have some Roman Reigns news as well. And I got, I got, another, I got a couple more stories for you guys. As my iPad wants to be a jack right now. Come on now. Come on. Come on. You know what? I, you know what? I'm gonna leave this in. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave this in. You, you, you gotta cut all this out. But you know, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave this in this time. But uh, if you guys haven't heard it, um, this is Train Talks. I'm going to be going over Money in the Bank match card and rumors. We'll go over all the match co- matches confirmed for Money in the Bank and rumors heading into the show as well. This is Train Talks, man. Thank you so much for joining me, man. Um, last night, I got to say, man, you guys killed it, man. 400-something views on that live reaction to Golden State Warriors and Cleese and the Rockets, man. I honestly am shocked and can't believe that many people showed up, man. I, you know, it's such an awesome feeling to do that and get the most likes that I've ever had on a single video, and in eighteen, and from a basketball video. That is absolutely awesome. You know what I'm saying? You guys killed it. I'm gonna do it again tonight, and I'm gonna try to do it tomorrow night as well. But um, you know, I really hope um, you know, I really hope, really hope we can get this turnout like we did last night tonight. With Houston, and, with with Cleveland and Boston, but now you can keep in mind, this is Boston and Cleveland. This is not Golden State and Houston, which is the most watched Western Conference Finals in 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 in, in over well, what what did I say? Over 10, 10, 15 years. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. And this is the most watched Eastern Conference Finals since twenty twelve. So you know, maybe we, we might get the same turnout. But then shout out to everybody that joined the stream. Shout out to everybody that was commented and liked. You guys are awesome, man. And keep up and keep up the keep up keep to supporting me, and I will definitely be doing those once again, man. You guys are supporting me through it, and I'm gonna keep doing it for you guys. You're gonna watch me rage and be aggravated, you know what I'm saying? While we sit there and watch some basketball. Also, man, thanks. Shout outs to Big Boy John Twenty Five for reaching three hundred and I believe it's three hundred and twenty fourteen or fifteen hundred twenty something now. Subscribers on YouTube, man. He's a beast, and keep keep going to keep going in your channel, man. Shout outs to you. And Night Rider Games, man. Um, you know he gave me some ideas for the universe mode and stuff like that. Uh, for all of my uh, uh those those those, 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 those two shoutouts that I got in mind. But also shout out to all my new subscribers. Um, you you know who you are. If you guys are new, uh, new to the channel, this is Train Talks. Where we go over WWE news and rumors, and go over sports news as well. We go over all news in the media of wrestling, sports, and analytics and all that stuff like that. We go over all that stuff here. Keep in mind. These are just rumors, so no, they're more than likely they 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 could not come true, but there's a possibility that this could be true, ladies and gentlemen. Some of this stuff is true, but some of this stuff is not. We just I just I just give you guys the rumors, we talk about it, and we go on about our business. That is exactly that is exactly what we do here tonight. Um, uh, and um, and we're gonna kick things off with uh talking about the May Young Classic. This year's Mania Classic will be tape will tape on August seventh through the eighth. Says Western Observer Live. Tony Storm and uh, Shari are names to be mentioned as possible participants, both by the Observer and Square Circle Sirens. Casey Mitt Michael. So uh, I, I love me some Tony Storm and I love me some Io Shari, man. Those are two awesome women that I would love to see in WWE. So we'll see if the we'll see if they make an appearance. It will be taped on August seventh and eighth, twenty eighteen. Then we have E News uh, uh, also has a source saying that Nikki Bella and John Cena are definitely back together. While Nikki Bella is believed to, deny, to be believed to be denying those sources and reports this in this tweet, saying that um, um, saying that um, saying that me and Cena are not back together. The breakup was real, and um, we're, and we're still trying to work things out. In a recent tweet she sent on Twitter. It had, we had, then we had a rumor killer that was talked that WWE was holding off a round of talent releases because they don't want stars heading to all in. But the observer and others have has said that they haven't heard anything of sort the sort from backstage. So, you know, WWE does their spring clean around this time where they release talent that they're not using. 
Um, more likely to get five to six releases in the spring. But we haven't heard nothing yet, and it's almost June. So I don't know what's going on with WWE. I guess they like their talent pool right now, and they're not going to release anybody, which is good. It's a good sign. Because if they release if they release a Tyler Breeze or a Fandango, I will absolute rage because that is ridiculous to do a lead the the talent caliber of those guys. Shout out to uh, I hope everybody keeps their jobs, but it's uh, unlike WWE to hold this this current roster for a full year. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we have the spring clean like we did last year with the Darren Youngs and Summer Rays getting released. You know what I'm saying? Um, they haven't got nobody got released yet, so which is a good sign if you're a WWE superstar. That means you probably you might still have a job until after WrestleMania 35, more than likely. So I don't know, and it's all in women, but I don't think WWE is does it really really not paying attention to all in. You know what I'm saying? All, it all in is good for what the Cody Rules and the Young Bucks are doing, but I don't think WWE is looking at all in. So you know you don't have to worry about them looking at that. And then we're gonna be going over some Roman some uh, Money in the Bank rumors here. Um. As we're going over both the men's Money in the Bank ladder match and um, the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. And going going over all the matches confirmed so far for Money in the Bank. Uh, starting things off with the women's Money in the Bank match. There's only one spot ma left in the match as Charlotte, Becky, Naomi, Ale Lana, Alexa Bliss, Emily, and Natalya have a chance to climb and claim the beat of the contract. They have an opportunity to challenge a world champion anytime they wish in the next year. Banks, ba Bailey, Brooke, Mickey James, Ultimate, and Ultimate the Modifier of the Wise Club will run a gauntlet on this week's uh, Raw to determine the final entrance. I hope this Raw is good this week because this this past week, week, week week's Raw was absolutely garbage. Absolute terrible, man. I really hope this this, this Raw is great. Um, I think that um, I'll get my predictions for this matchup right now. Um, the most logical guy, woman you can go with here is... Um, I would love to see Sasha Banks, man. Sasha Banks will make will be perfect for this, man. Um, you can have Ruby Riot win this match. Then you can have Liv Morgan and KFC Logan go after um, Bailey and Sasha Banks uh, for to continue that feud. But or you can have a uh, Mickey James win this match. Definitely, Dana Brooks not win this match. I don't see her win this match at all. That will be one of the worst mistakes WWE has ever made putting Dana Brooke in a, in a ladder match. Please, don't put Botch in there. I don't think she's winning, but I think um, I think Sasha Banks is the most logical person to go with here. There, but they might go with, with, with Ruby Wyatt. Don't be surprised if Ruby Wyatt wins this match. I guarantee you that, guys. Do not be surprised. Oh, don't be surprised if Bailey wins this match. That would be very, very interesting if Bailey wins it. And she pins Sasha? Ooh, a heel turn maybe? We'll find out on Monday Night Raw, hopefully. And we have the men's money in the back ladder match. Uh, same story on the men's side, but a little more intrigued. Team Red is all set. Strowman, Rude, Owens, and Balor are all in. No pun intended. As opposed to being all in. <laughs> the blue brand has these has three spots spoken for. But New Day still has to pick which of them will join Rusev Day and The Miz. Then some more Joe Daniel Bryan will be about to determine the final entrant on Tuesday night. I think we, we we will not find out about the New Day thing. I think that's WWE's best storyline right now with Women's of the New Day breaking up from on WWE television. We, I I think we 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 don't we don't watch. I, I think we don't um we won't find that out until the last SmackDown line before Money in the Bank. If they play this right, this could be the best storyline we have on um um. I mean, this could be the best storyline we have for Money in the Bank and the most intriguing one. Because it could be Big E, maybe Xavier Woods, or Kofi Kingston. You never know. If it's Big E, then that gets another guy that could potentially win the Money in the Bank ladder match. And who will be my favorite out of all of them to win it. You know what I'm saying? That's something different. And we haven't seen nothing different with the Money in the Bank briefcase. It's been generic guys that held the Money in the Bank briefcase that did nothing with it. Carmella was the only one that's, that was different. You know what I'm saying? Barry Corbin was not different. He wasn't ready. And WWE got cold feet and embarrassed the guy. I don't think Corbin has recovered from that. At all. But we'll, but we'll see, man. We, we will see. Money in the Bank comes to you live in the Allstate Arena in Rosemont, Iowa. Um, on June 17, 2018. Again, another negative I have is WWE has... Um, 
is WWE has half of this match already filled already, and we still have two weeks of build left. If I were booking this, I would have one Money in the Bank qualifying match every single week. You have four spots to fill for Raw and SmackDown. One qualifying match on Raw, one on SmackDown. One, one, qualifying, I'm sorry, one qualifying match on Raw for the men, one on SmackDown. I mean, I, I, I mean, one on Raw for the women. Then one on SmackDown for the men, and one on SmackDown for the men. For, for the women, I'm sorry. You guys, you guys, you guys get what I'm saying? One each week for each gender. One for the men, one for the women. One for the men, one for the women. And then, then, then I can fill four weeks of television. Then all you have to do is just fill two weeks of television by giving us intriguing storylines between all the Money in the Bank members. But you filling half of the card already makes it makes it reason why do I have to watch Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live if the Money in the Bank match is already filled besides the other storylines that's going on at Money in the Bank. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they should have been better with that. Because I don't think Reigns and Mahal, um, Rousey, I, I think the, the, the other big match on this show is, um, big, big, big matches on this show is AJ Styles and Shishka Nakamura. They can, they can intrigue me for SmackDown Live. Rousey and Jax, that's eh, but, you know, I gotta see what Ronda Rousey could do one-on-one. -on -one. I don't, I don't know if she's ready one-on-one -on -one yet, but she proved me wrong at WrestleMania. I think she will prove me wrong Again, that money in the bank. Will she win a title? I'll go over. I'll go over that more in detail in my preview predictions, which which will be live. We'll break down every single matchup on this card. And other news is here. Other matches you already know: it's Styles and Mahal, Rousey and Jax, Carmella and Oscar. I think I, I think Carmella's reign is coming to an end, which rightfully so it should come to an end because as Mella is, uh, <laughs> you, you know, she she's hit and miss, man. You know. At, at on at the same time she's good at what she does, but at the at, at the other same time she's terrible. You know what I'm saying? She got some stuff to work on. But you know, I think her reign will be coming to an end at Money in the Bank. I don't think if, if they let Carmella beat Oscar clean, I will absolutely rage, rage inducing on Money in the Bank. She better win via DQ if if, if Oscar losing that match. She better win via count out or DQ. Oscar, but does but not better not be pinned. I promise you. And we got Reigns in my hole. The Blood and Vengeance versus Giles and Anderson. I think this would be a, that that's going to be one of the most intriguing matches on this card. Is the Blood and Brothers versus Giles and Anderson? You people will be timing how long has this matchup? What will this matchup last? Uh, um, last at Money in the Bank. And that's all we got so far. We don't have a United States match, China Championship match, no IC title match yet. Um, we also don't have a Raw Tag Team Championship match left. The matchup on the card yet. And no cruiserweight championship match. I don't. I so far. So we still got four matches to fill for Money in the Bank, and basic after that we're finished. The Money in the Bank it will be complete, and then it'll and then it will be live on June seventeenth. I think this is WWE's. You know, um, I think WWE did a great job with this card overall. Besides the less intriguing match I'm in, in on this show is Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal. Everything else, I'm genuinely excited for it and to see if WWE will make the right decisions. Now, if they start off like they like 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 they do like like they did yeah, last year, I won't like Money in the Bank. 20, like I won't like Money in the Bank. You should start off with a Money in the Bank match and end with a Money in the Bank match. The women should kick things off on the show. The crowd is white hot. Kick things off with the women, and then you end with the men's match, the main event. There you go. That's how you book money in the bank like that. And in between, you have the United States, IC, tag team matches, all, and then have the two women's championship matches. I think Ronda Rossi will go on towards the end of the show, which makes sense because we have a potential uh, a potential cash in uh, if a wall if a wall women woman wins it, and then and then you know and then you know structure structure how it goes best. Do not have Roman Reigns go before Ronda Rousey and Nia Jax. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Do not have Roman Reigns go after Rousey and Jax because that will kill the entire crowd's vibe. And you know what I'm saying? And then you know, book it, book it like you normally know do, and have, hopefully it turns out good. You know what I'm saying? I hope they hope, hope they make the right decisions. And um, I think that's all the news I got for today, man. I think I think I'm done with news today, man. Um, we went over the Fox TV deal. Oh, I have to go over um CM Punk, um real quick. Um, you know, see, let me see. Um, WWE, um, versus CM Punk is lawsuit getting set for trial now. 
earlier this week, it appeared that a libel case putting WWE and Dr. Chris uh, Amon against CM Punk and Coca Banner could be headed for a settlement out of court after there was a delay in the proceedings that doesn't, that doesn't seem to be the case. As PW started reporting that the Jewish election has been begun in a civil lawsuit, I'm going to assume Punk over the uh, despairing remarks that made made by him following his sudden WWE departure in 2014. Punk appeared on Coca Banner in November 2014 accused. A mind of failing to properly treat him on numerous occasions. In that case, Mons came in that his reputation suffered from an accusation that he's seeking more than one million dollars in damages from the former WWE champion at Cabana. So that's that's the update on that one. They're going to court as the WWE doctor and CM Punk are going to court. And finally, we'll update on the Cavs and um um Celtics. Um the Cleveland Cavaliers, um Kevin Love will more than likely probably will not be playing in Game number um, seven, and he'll probably sit out as LeBron has to go at it alone to take on the young Celtics. So that's the that's the news coming out of Boston right now. Kevin Love probably will not play in game seven. So we'll see what happens uh, in game seven. I will be live reacting to that later on today. What's all this I got for you guys today, man? That's everything for this weekend. Two parts only, man. You know what I'm saying? Getting, there, getting everything in there for this Sunday night. I don't want to stab you guys with another part. Makes no sense. Go over everything in the one part and get it over with. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Like button, subscribe to down below. We got some new. Let me let me know you dig the new setup to training talks. And I'll see you guys for my live reaction to Cavs and Celtics. Peace.